Today, I'm going to create a full, complete, realistic game cinematic with animation, two characters, and a realistic look. Did I mention I'm going to do this with no money? So first, I hired a very good actress to be the main character. The actress is me. Anyways, the costume was actually pretty good and a friend of mine created it for me, but for some reason, it wasn't looking like the character. I, I don't know why, honestly. Oh, I know what it is. It's the smoke. I don't have smoke in the shot. So with that problem fixed, I just need to record some shots of me doing some movements. And it was done. Looks good, right? I just need to tie my waist a little bit and it works, okay? It's, this is good enough. I'm gonna recreate it in 3D and animate it afterwards. Okay. For the 3D, I started by scanning my face and I actually was my mom. And this was the result. Yeah, I guess good enough for now. And to help me finish the rest of the body, a friend of mine helped me creating a perfect, true to life version of my body in 3D. Wait, 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 wait. I, I don't, I don't. Thanks, man. And while he works on the body, I'm gonna make the costume. For that, I will start with the extracted model from the game. I just upscaled the textures from the game, then I subdivided the model, then I created some more stuff on the texture, so it had more imperfections, until they are ready to envelop my body. The pros are, it actually looks pretty realistic and close to the real life version, and the cons are, it actually looks pretty realistic and close to the real life version. And that has to look less like me. And that's why I love 3D. You can make me look exactly like you want. This is exactly how I look in real life. Or even transform me into a female version of myself that actually looks good and with makeup. The Raiden Shogun model now is ready. The hair not so much, but the rest is good enough for now. Wow, Jelix, this looks so pretty. This looks so awesome. You look so cute. Stop. This is basically my 3D twin sister we are talking about here. Respect to her. And now I have to make her move, which is my worst nightmare because I don't know how to animate. Hey Dollar, can you please help me doing a 2D animatic for me to use as reference for the 3D animation? Yeah, man, no problem. Oh my god, this is perfect, majestic, beautiful, awesome, I, I don't have the words, but how am I gonna do this? <laughs> I started recording some references for the 3D animation, and using this, I created the first rough animation in 3D. I know, low quality robots, but hear me out, it already gives you an idea of how it's gonna go. But luckily for me, Genshin Impact already have a bunch of very good animation for me to use as reference. So I just have to open the game and... Wow! And look how beautiful everything looks. There's no way I'm gonna recreate this whole environment. It's... It's, it's too big. So playing the game, the first thing that I have to show you is the elemental combat system. And you can combine different elements to get special damage from different combinations and fighting styles. And Raiden has electro damage, which will be very important later. And exploring the world of Teyvat, you can climb, swim, glide, and even farm and go fishing on this now even bigger map. And if that wasn't enough, Genshin is getting a new update. A parade of providence. I just hope it doesn't affect Raiden's animation. And with the new characters, Baiju and Kave, and new events, there's always something new to explore. Honestly, look at these new boss abilities. That's so cool, I wish I had a computer to play it on. What? No, you can play it on your iOS and Android device, and even on PlayStation 4 and 5, not just on PC. Wow. So thanks a lot Genshin Impact for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check the link in the description and play the game. For free, it's free. But now I, I need to keep focused on creating the cinematic. Let's go, focus, Jalix. Mjad, I need help. I don't know how to animate in 3D. Can you please help me animate the first character so I can focus on the other one? I don't. Thanks, man. And after a lot of work, this was the result of the animation. Oh, wait. Raiden Shogun has a spear and I only have a sword. I guess I know how to fix that. Reuse these parts of the sword, vert them, prolong them, and extrude here and there and adjust the textures. And that's it. I have a spear now. And they are bald because my computer was trying very hard not to explode and Blender trying very hard not to crash. And now for the most satisfying part, 3D simulation. So I created the hair system and then simulated to make it realistic and have a lot of movement when the power start. It did work after some time. But about the clothes, I faced a little issue when she tried to walk 
Her clothes just fell off. Yeah, not ideal since we really wanted this video to be family friendly. And how am I gonna fix that? I'm glad you asked. The original cloth would be very hard to simulate. Something so called the like a low poly version of round the that are really high poly, poly version. So now it works real time and it's... Um, I think it was worth it, I don't know. And I did the same thing for the transformed version six times instead of just two. So now we got the hair, the dress, the cape thing, and I still functioning computer. So that's a win. But we still missing something. Powers, of course. It's gotta be intense. Super intense. So in Blender, there is this thing called geometry nodes. And people have done so many incredible things with geometry nodes. They sell this stuff. So I thought, why not just create lightning using this? That's exactly what this guy thought. So I just used his. I just have to set some things up and that's it, lightning. The problem is, the way that I want to render this shot is using EV. The thing is, lightning wasn't actually lighting anything. The solution for that was scattering a bunch of different lights on the surface of the lightning using geometry nodes. This was the result. Uh, more light. Just add some particles and some leaves falling. And also the last thing is that we need fog. Now it looks much better. And the environment was the, actually the most complicated part. It was a plane with a noise modifier and a noise texture to it. Finally, 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 time to render. And rendering is just press this button and it will work, right? No, it didn't work. For some reason, the simulation started breaking. One time the hair broke, the other time the cloth broke. But in the end, I just rendered a bunch of different versions. Just put them together in the end. I don't know what's happening. Compositing. This time, I tried to make everything work on 3D, so I wouldn't have as much work. I just added some real lightning and more lightning, smokes, camera shake, some color adjustments to make it look more professional. And with the final touches in place, I realized I was more exhausted than I thought. This process took way longer than I expected. And after me with the costume, my 3D version, my female version, the hair, the costume, the simulation, the lighting, the smoke, the particles, and the compositing, please consider subscribing if you like the result. It's free. But first, enjoy the final video. Let this be our final duel.